Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Prepare to be transported back through time as we take a look at an interesting journey through the medieval towns of both Italy and France, from the rustic beauty of the Ardèche region to the timeless charm of Tuscany. Each town has its own unique story to tell. So let's take a look at 12 medieval towns to visit in Italy and France. Number 1. San Gimignano, Italy Now this is internationally renowned as the medieval Manhattan, a stunning hilltop town in Tuscany just southwest of Florence. So did you know that at its prime, this medieval city once had 65 towers, dominating its skyline? The towers show the ambition and the mastery of those medieval architects, and of course, the city's ability to defend itself during enemy attacks. But while many of the towers were destroyed during the wars, the ones you see today are as popular as ever. But visit the historic old town and its charming piazzas. But here, you'll find those well-preserved cobblestone streets, family-run restaurants, and the open-air markets where you are able to buy those local trinkets. And finally, climb the city's tallest tower, Torre Grossa, standing at 177 feet for those panoramic views of the Tuscan countryside. Number 2. Balazouk, France now this is a stunning medieval village that's perched on a rocky promontory overlooking the Ardèche River. Now this village is characterized by its narrow cobblestone streets, its ancient golden stone houses and the medieval castle ruins. In fact, Balazouk has been recognized as one of the most beautiful villages in France. I think it's due to its historic charm and of course, the scenic location. Now, one of the crowning jewels of Balazouk is its medieval castle, especially as it sits in a stunning location right above the village. And the castle's imposing ruins makes you imagine the lives of the nobles who once called it home. And from the ramparts, you'll gaze upon the Ardèche River which winds its way through the picturesque countryside below. So this is a great way to go deep into France and explore some villages that don't really get that much tourism. Number 3. Orvieto, Italy Now midway between the ever-popular city of Rome and Florence lies a clifftop town called Orvieto and this is a day trip classic. You will really enjoy exploring its beautiful medieval lanes. And while there, you'll be able to discover plenty of fine restaurants to try. Now, what makes a visit here so special? It's awe-inspiring cathedral, one of Italy's great Gothic churches. Spectacular inside as well as out. But the town is also surrounded by well-preserved medieval walls, which once served as a protective barrier. You can still walk along these walls and enjoy the panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. But did you know that beneath the town lies a network of underground tunnels and caves that once served various purposes throughout history? Number 4. Vogue, France Now this is another delightful village that's nestled right in the heart of the Ardèche region. A blend of rustic beauty and riverside charm. It's perched gracefully on the banks of the Ardèche River 
and it's a very picturesque escape that stands out for its individuality. Wandering through the winding streets, you'll feel that authentic ambience of a rural French village. Traditional stone houses line the lanes, each with its own story to tell. Now, one of the distinctive features is its ancient bridge that spans the Ardèche River, connecting the villages to the surrounding countryside. The bridge's arches and views of the river add that unique element to your holiday. So it may not have a medieval castle like its neighbouring villages, but its simplicity and its unspoiled beauty are its trademarks. Number 5. Urbino Now this is a walled medieval city in the centre of Italy, and together with Pesaro, it's the capital of the Urbino province. Now this hilltop village is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and is one of the most important Renaissance sites in Italy. So when you do visit, which is just a 15 minute train ride from Pesaro, you will see one of the most impressive examples of Italian Renaissance architecture, and that is the Palazzo Ducale, which is the main attraction of the town. Built in the 15th century, it was the Duke's main headquarters. So there are plenty more attractions like visiting Raffaello houses or if you're looking for a deeper cultural experience of Italy, then Urbino is a must see. Next up is Gorz. Built on the foothills of the Monts of Vaucluse, facing Lugaron, Gorz is one of the most well-known hilltop villages in the region and easily one of the best in France. Its houses and buildings of white stone root themselves deep into the cliff of the mountain. It's a labyrinth of narrow cobblestone streets and plenty for you to explore. It's even known for many artists who've stayed there in the village and have contributed to its fame in France. And there are many cultural events in the summer with its museums, its festivals, concerts and plenty of exhibitions. So the summer could be the ideal time to visit. And the bonus is it's only 30 minutes away from Avignon. Number 7. Toddy. High on a hilltop above the winding Tiber lies the pretty town of Todi. Now if you do visit Orvieto, you can visit this town as well. It's a living testament to the Middle Ages. A charming hilltop town that's perched on top of ancient foundations. And it takes you on a journey back in time to its medieval past. Wandering through the streets, you can't help but feel the echoes of history. The town's architecture is a splendid mix of medieval and renaissance styles, with stone buildings that have witnessed centuries of change. So search for the Palazzo del Popolo, built in 1213 and one of Italy's oldest public buildings. The Piazza del Popolo is a bustling square, surrounded by medieval buildings including the Palazzo dei Priori and it has an impressive medieval doorway. So as I mentioned, if you do visit Orvieto, it's just a quick trip to Toddy. Number eight, Charu, France. Now this is a medieval town with a rich past and it's listed among the most beautiful villages of France. It reminds me of Ez in the south of France and I've mentioned France four times in the first 10 seconds. And you will find ancient houses, a 12th century church, 
like a bell tower, a clock tower, market halls with wooden pillars, residences with timber frames from the 14th century, and fortified doors and wells. So if you really like wandering through charming villages and finding small trinkets and artistic products, this is another place to head to, which is in central France. Number 9. Civita di Bagno Reggio A magical, a surreal and simply a fantastic place located on top of a hill that can only be reached by crossing a narrow pedestrian bridge. And from there, you can enjoy one of the most stunning panoramic views of the whole Lazio region. Nicknamed the town that is dying, due to the erosion of the rocks where it's placed. A citadel halfway between Orvieto and Lake Bolsena, with Etruscan and medieval origins, suspended in time and space. It's beyond doubt one of the most beautiful and characteristic Italian villages. Even on foggy days, this wonderful town seems literally suspended in mid-air. Number 10. Mont Saint Michel. Now this is indeed a medieval architectural marvel. It's a small rocky island located in Normandy, France, and is well known for its stunning abbey perched atop the island's highest point. The abbey, which dates back to the 8th century, is a prime example of medieval architecture, and it's renowned for its Gothic design. The island and its abbey have a very rich history, once a strategic stronghold and a centre of medieval pilgrimage. So of course, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site today, and a very popular tourist destination. But upon reflection, it reminds me of how amazing the past builders were, and what they may think of how the world looks today. Bergamo, a city in the Lombardy region of Italy, located in the far north of the country. Bergamo comprises of a walled historic center known as the Upper Town. It's steeped in medieval history, and so much so that some parts seem untouched since they were the first built. The 16th century Venetian defensive walls and gates were so impenetrable that the town was never conquered. So the highlights here are to visit the Piazza Vecchia and the upper city itself, La Cita Alta. It's perfect for walking around and checking out the town. And of course, don't miss out on visiting the Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. So overall, Bogomo is famous for its wealth of artistic treasures, very medieval town and atmosphere and a real tale of two cities. And finally, number 12, Perouge, France. And this is another stunning medieval walled town on a small hill overlooking the river valley, only 30 kilometers north of Lyon, and listed as among the most beautiful villages of France. A superb fortified village, incredibly well preserved, and you'll be amazed to discover 
that its 15th century church resembles a fortress. So the village is very small, you can visit it in about three hours, and basically it's a wonderful day trip opportunity from Lyon. And there you have it folks, just 12 of some of the towns and villages with remnants from the Middle Ages in both Italy and France. Let me know in the comments below which country you preferred. There are plenty more to discover, even more so in the Tuscany region. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind and be careful. Peace.